Hello to my peeps. <laughs> I painted my, to my fingernails and everything for <laughs> this event. I don't know, I've been wanting to play around with color and painting my nails. Anyway, this has been a very highly recommended asked for video um, since the Tamagotchi on came and everything. So what we're going to be doing today is cro crocheting our own Tamagotchi case. Tamagotchi on case. Uh, this is a simple pattern and everything. Oh, I say simple for me, but as close as possible to a pattern that I think would be universal for anyone, um, potentially beginner. Hopefully it'd be more of a, um, informative video and stuff for you, but I crocheted this case and everything for the video. It even has a little slot, uh, so that you can put your, um, strap in and all that stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to, um, let me make sure, she, oh, she's okay, good. <laughs> I wanted to get a video out for you guys to actually enjoy creating your own, um, Tamagotchi crochet case and I just wanted to go through a rundown of the um, supplies that you're going to be needing. So, so first off you're going to need um, yarn. I'm using this acrylic number four yarn. Um, you'll know that it's a number four yarn if it says actually on the actual case right here. So medium number four. You're going to be also needing a crochet hook and it's, this is the clover E hook which is also the three and a half millimeter. You're also gonna need a darning needle so that you can weave in your ends. You're gonna also need a trusty stitch marker to mark the rounds as you go uh, when you as you go around in your project and everything so that you can keep track of where you're at. And then also a pair of sharp scissors so you can cut the, the excess yarn off and um, cut off your working yarn and everything at the very end. So yes, that is basically all the supplies you will need. So let's get started in making this fun project. Hey folks, I'm gonna be using this orange number four yarn in my num letter E crochet hook, which is a three and a half millimeter clover hook. I'm going to do a uh, slip knot. I'm gonna pull the yarn up a little bit and then I'm gonna take this side over to create this loop, pinch it, pull the yarn through that loop in the middle and it's going to create a little bit of a tension pull like that where you can put your hook through and fasten it like that. I'm going to do it again so you guys can see. Pull up a little bit, tug, go over, pinch, go through basically from the bottom up, pull through, create a little tension, put your crochet hook through that and then pull. So that starts our actual project right there. Okay, next, we are going to be doing a faux magic circle. And what is that? I'll show you. <laughs> so I'm gonna yarn over my working yarn, pull that yarn th through that first loop, like so. So that's one chain, one, yarn over again, pull through that loop, two chains. So we just did the chain stitch. So it's one V, two V. Now we're gonna start the actual first round. So from this, from uh, into the stitch second from the, the hook, which is one, two, that, that hook, that stitch right there, we are going to put six single crochets into that little loop. So I'm gonna show you there. I'm gonna go through like that, yarn over, Pull up, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through those two loops. That's a single crochet. And now you got that little gap right there. That's where you're gonna be putting all six of your single crochets into that loop, that little opening. So we'll do it again. We're gonna go through that loop, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through two. So that's two stitches, one, Two, go through that loop again, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two loops. So that's three. One, two, three. Three more. Go through that loop, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through those two. So that's four. One, two, three, four. See how that opening is getting a little bit wider? Go through. Yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, 
pull through two, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last single crochet into that loop. See how it's wide open now, you can see it. Go through that loop, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through those two loops, and then we have our six single crochets into that one loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is gonna be round two. In this round, we're gonna be increasing. So we're gonna be doing two single crochets into each of these stitches. So we have six here. We add two more into each stitch, that makes 12. So into this first stitch here, that first V, we're gonna put our crochet hook through, like so. Yarn over, pull up, oops, sorry. <laughs> two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through those two loops. See that that stitch that we created just now? That's our first of the two stitches. I'm gonna put a stitch marker in there to mark the round so that when we get back to it, we know that we can start round three. So I'm gonna put my stitch marker there, clip it, and then in that same stitch that we did right here, which has that single crochet right here, we're gonna go back in, yarn over, pull up, two stitches, two loops on the, on the crochet hook, yarn over again, pull through two. So we have two in that first stitch. Here's the second stitch right here, that second V. Go through, yarn over, pull up, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through two, one. See, it's a little bit more of a opening there. Se second single crochet, yarn over, pull up, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through those two. So that's four now, one, two, three, four. There's the next stitch right here. It starts, you start noticing where the stitches are and everything. So we're gonna go through, single crochet, two loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, go through that same stitch again, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through two. There's this next stitch, pull through that stitch, yarn over, two loops on the hook, Yarn over again, pull through two. Right here. Oh, sorry. So that's one. Go through again, yarn over, pull up, yarn over again, pull through two loops. Next stitch here, go through, yarn over, yarn over again, go through two loops. One, go through that stitch again, yarn over, two loops on the hook. Yarn over again, go through two. So it's two in that same stitch. Last stitch of this round. So go through that stitch there. Yarn over, two loops on the hook. Yarn over again, pull through those two. One, go through that same stitch one more time. Yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook. Yarn over again, pull through two. Now that we're back at the stitch marker, that means that we're done with this round and we can start round three. So I'm just gonna count to make for sure. So, ooh, let me just pull this up a little bit. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's where our last stitch was right here in the hook. So that's twelve. If you have twelve, stitches on your project, then you are doing good. Okay, round three. We are going to now do another increase round. So we increase to um, 12 from six. So six, we have 12 stitches now. We're gonna be adding one stitch to the first single crochet that we did. And then the second stitch adjacent to it, we're gonna be doing two single crochets into that stitch. So one single crochet, first stitch, two single crochet into the second stitch. And I'll show you now. So I'm gonna take the stitch marker off, put that down real quickly. Stitch marker will save you <laughs> um, where you're start, starting and stopping. So single crochet, put um, crochet hook through, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through two. We have our first stitch, so that's one single crochet. We're gonna get our stitch marker again. Go through, clip, 
this starts our third round. So the next stitch across from it right here, we're gonna be putting two single crochets. So put your crochet hook through, yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through, two. And then that same stitch right there, we're gonna do a, another single crochet adding. So we're gonna put another one through, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through, two. So we have one, one single crochet, two single crochet increase. And we're gonna be doing that all the way across and then we'll count to see how many stitches we have. So on the next one, one single crochet into that stitch, yarn over, yarn over again, two loops on the hook, go through both loops, one. Next stitch, two single crochets into the same stitch. So we're gonna go through, yarn over, pull up, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through two. In that same stitch, one more single crochet. Go through, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through two. There we go. So next stitch, one single crochet, second stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. Go through, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, go through two. Two single crochets into the same stitch. You go through, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, go through two. Same, we're gonna do a single crochet into that same stitch. Go through, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through those two. So one, one, two. That's what we're gonna be doing all the way around. One single crochet, two single crochets into the same stitch. One single crochet. Two single crochets into the same stitch. One, two. One single crochet. Two single crochets into that same stitch. And now that ends round three. One, two. You should end on an increase every single time. So I'm gonna pull the yarn up a little bit and then count the stitches. So here, we're gonna start from here, where that stitch marker is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we went from six to 12 to 18. If you have 18 stitches on this round, you're good. And now let's get to round four. Round four. Now that we're back at the stitch marker, we're gonna pull that out and start at that beginning right there. So this round, round four, we're gonna be doing one single crochet in the first two stitches. So one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch, and then in the third stitch, we're gonna be doing an increase of two single crochets into that same stitch, so I'll show you. So we're gonna go through, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through two, one single crochet. Put the stitch marker right back in there so that we don't lose count of our round. Next stitch, one single crochet. Two loops on the hook, yarn over, go through those two uh, hoops. So one, two, and then in the third stitch, two single crochets into that same stitch. So one, two loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, one single crochet into the same stitch. I'm gonna put another single crochet, two, oops, sorry, <laughs> two loops on the hook, yarn over, go through those two. So now we have four, one, two, three, four. So that's an increase. So two single crochets in the first two stitches, one in each one, 
third stitch, add two single crochets in that same stitch. It's gonna do it again. Next stitch, one single crochet. Second stitch, one single crochet. Third stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. So, one single crochet, two single crochet. That's our increase. And we're gonna be doing that all the way around and then we'll count how many stitches we have in the end. So, one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch in the third stitch. One, two, two. There we go. So that ends round four. Now let's count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 24. So 24 stitches around. So that's our increase. So off to round five. Okay, round five. You guessed it. We're going to be doing another increase in stitches. So that's our stitch marker right there where that V is. We're going to take it off. Put it down real quickly. So this round we are going to be adding another increase. So we're going to be doing one single crochet into the first three stitches. And then the fourth stitch, we're going to be doing an increase of two single crochets into that same stitch. I'll show you. Go through the first stitch, one single crochet. Go through. We're going to put our stitch marker right back in there to mark our round. There we go. Next single crochet, or next stitch, single crochet. Yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, two. So we have one, two. Next stitch, one single crochet. So one, two, three. And then on the fourth stitch, we're going to be doing an increase of two single crochets into that same stitch. So yarn over, yarn over again, go through two, one, go through that same stitch, yarn over, go through two. So now we should have five. One, two, three, four, five. That's our increase right there. So one single crochet stitch into the first three stitches, fourth stitch, add two single crochets to that same stitch. I'm gonna do it again. So one single crochet, first stitch, one single crochet, second stitch, one single crochet, third stitch, two single crochets into that fourth stitch, one, There we go, and we're going to be doing that all the way around. So There we go, we ended on an increase. As you notice, the pattern is we were always ending on an increase each round. So now I'm gonna pull up a little bit and then count the stitches once again, just so you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we have 30 stitches all the way around, increase. And that ends round five. 
this is gonna be our last increase round. So we're going, this is round six. So round six is going to be um, an increase round with the first four stitches, one, two, three, four being single crochets. And the fifth stitch, we're gonna be increasing with two single crochets into that same stitch. And I'll show you. So take the stitch marker out. Okay, see that stitch right there? We're gonna go through that. So one, yarn over, go through two, put our stitch marker back into that stitch right there so we can mark our round. Next stitch, that's the second. One single crochet, so that's two, one, two. Third single crochet. Fourth single crochet. And then in the fifth stitch right there, we're gonna put two single crochets to increase. So one, two. Do that again. First four stitches, single crochet. So one, two, three, four, fifth stitch, increase by two. One, two. crochets into that fifth stitch yet again we did an increase on that last stitch round boom pull that up a little bit we're gonna count nothing new <laughs> so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 36 stitches around. And that is our last increase round. I'm gonna show you basically with the Tamagotchi right now that you can put this right here see that like it's starting to form the actual um, bottom portion for your Tamagotchi. We're getting there. That looks very Halloween-y and I love it. I'm, I'm all about this. <laughs> so now we are going to round seven. Okay. So we are now on round seven. Round seven is going to be very, very simple. The only thing we're going to do now because we're done with our increases is what we're gonna do is do a single crochet into each stitch around. So we have 36 stitches, so we're gonna have 36 single crochets all the way around. So let's get started. So take your stitch marker off, put it down. One single crochet. There we go, that's our first stitch. Get our stitch marker again. Put it back through the marker around. And then we're gonna do single crochets all the way around. Because we did our increase and everything, we don't have to, our last increase, we don't have to do any more increases. This is gonna be hopefully simple for the few last rounds. So we're gonna go through doing single crochets in every stitch around. Okay, we're at the last stitch for round seven. There we go. And I'm not gonna really count them. As long as you have 36 stitches around, you should be good. So, and now you can start seeing that it's starting to sort of like go upward. If I can focus, it's starting to go a little upward and everything. So, <laughs> throughout this whole entire process, I will be doing back and forth to make for sure that um, I am correct in my measurements. So, 
if it's like centered in your on your device and everything like so you can see where I'm gonna have to do the next portion where I'm gonna have to chain which will be round eight so that I can make that space for that um, the little opening for your little tassel so let's do that round now this is the end of round seven and we're gonna be doing round eight round number eight so what I'm gonna do here is do a single crochet where the stitch marker is in and then I'm gonna do a chain if I'm gonna try and remember correctly a chain of two and then I'll show you what's gonna happen from the rest so I'm gonna take this stitch marker out so in that stitch right here we're gonna do a single crochet yarn over go through two loops one single crochet get our stitch marker again Whoop. put through clip it so from here I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is do a chain two like that like we did from when we first did our, our uh, magic circle our faux magic circle so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna yarn over take that loop through that loop that I had on the hook initially so that's one yarn over again two okay so now you have one two and then the loop on your hook so we're gonna skip one two of the first stitches we're not gonna single crochet into any of these but in the third stitch by it we are going to do a single crochet so skip two single crochet into that third stitch or technically fourth stitch I'll let me show you why so we we had our first single crochet here which started around we're gonna skip two so that's one two three so skip two and three and go into four with a single crochet stitch yarn over two loops on the hook yarn over again pull through those two so we have that little gap right there so that's going to be for our actual tassel so that we can actually like have our string go through and through our device so that we can be able to have the case and a you know a strap if we want to and then like round seven we're going to do single crochets all the way around back to the beginning so let's start so let's see here i uh, did that single crochet right there so the next here we're gonna do single crochets all the way around again so this is round eight for our last stitch of that round and that ends round eight okay so you're starting to get like more of a dome shape to your case so I'm gonna pull that through like again I'm gonna keep on grabbing my Tamagotchi 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 <laughs> and see like how it's starting to wrap around and then we have that space now for that little opening there for our device so it's starting to wrap around pretty nicely and then we're gonna what we're gonna do is still do a, another single crochet around until we get to a certain point where it's wrapping around the device itself so that will this ends round eight and let's get into round nine round nine it's um, very simple as well this round we're gonna be doing single crochets all the way around again and I'll show you how you can put those single crochets into those ones that we skipped so take the stitch marker off and let's start so single crochet in the first stitch yarn over go through two get our stitch marker again put it back in there to mark our round and then now it, this this might look tricky but it's not we're going to be going in through the top not through the back side but through the top stitch through there so there's like two there's like the, i'll show you see that there's like a little v there's a that through that between that v is a little loop you're gonna put your crochet hook through there and do a single crochet through that. There you go. It does look like it's a little lifted, but it's fine. It still will keep in line with everything. You're gonna do the same thing with the second stitch that we skipped. Go through that loop from the top, go through, yarn over. I can grab it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yarn over, go through two. And then in the next one right here, you're gonna go through the top as well. Pick up a loop, go through two, and then we're gonna be doing single crochets all the way back around. 
And just keep on going all the way around. There we go. And that ends round nine. So I'm gonna pull this out. And again, I'm gonna keep on testing it every single time I get a round done so that I know for sure where I'm at. Even though you write a pattern and everything, sometimes certain yarns act a little weird for other ones. So I just wanna make for sure I'm doing it right. See, oh yeah, it feels nice. It feels nice. It feels really, really um, firm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say probably a few more rounds to basically make sure that it's secure around. So you wanna make for sure it's like really roughly around this edge there to secure it nicely. There goes my Tamagotchi. Hey girl. <laughs> so now that round, that number nine, round number nine is done and let's go to round 10. Round 10, we're gonna be doing single crochets all the way around again. So I'm gonna take the stitch marker out. That first stitch right there, we're gonna do a single crochet. Yarn over, go through two, pull through, okay. That stitch is open. Put our stitch marker back in there to mark around. And then we're gonna do single crochets all the way around again. I might honestly speed through this one as well. Okay, that ends round 10. Pull it up, yet again, keep on test, test it out, test it out every single time to see where you're at. Oh yeah. Oops, sorry, I keep on hitting it. Okay, so we're getting to a point where we are almost done. So I feel like we're gonna do yeah, one more round of single crochets, and then we'll finish it off. So this is end of round 10, on to round 11. Round 11. So we're gonna be doing single crochets one more time. Take off the stitch marker, go through that first loop, or first stitch, go through, single crochet, get our stitch marker again, put it through there, and then one single crochet around for round 11. And I'll speed through this as well. Okay, we are done with round 11. Once again, get your Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi, <laughs> and put it in the little sleeve there. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty is that. Oh, looks so nice. So, it's basically almost done. Oh, hello. Sorry. There we go. So we're gonna do one more round. So round 12 is going to be very simple as well. And hopefully this will be nice for you guys to have. So round 11 is done, on to round 12. Okay, round 12, we are going to be doing a slip stitch to make a really nice trim around the actual edge of your case and everything. And I'll show you how you guys do that. So don't take the stitch marker off. So in the first, uh, stitch right there, we're gonna be doing a slip stitch. You're gonna put your crochet hook through that stitch, that V right there. Yarn over, pull up. And you're gonna tug just a little bit tight, not too tight, um, but a little bit snug. And then you're gonna put that first uh, loop through the second loop, like this. Go through, boom. And then we're gonna put our stitch marker in there. 
to mark our round completed next. So we're gonna be doing slip stitches all the way around into each stitch. So next stitch, go through, yarn over, pull through. We have two uh, loops on the hook. Take that first loop and take it through the second one, like so. And we'll do it again. Go through that, first, that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, tight a little, little bit snug, not too snug. Take that first loop through the second loop. Go through, there we go. You're gonna be doing that throughout the whole entire, oops, sorry, throughout the whole entire um, project itself. First loop through the second loop. Pull through, and that is a slip stitch. Okay, so we're at the end of round 12. I'm gonna pull up a little bit. So we have this like dome now. Now I'm gonna take my Tamagotchi and put it through. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, oops, sorry, keep on pressing the buttons. I just wanna make sure. Usually when it's a brand new case and everything, it does, it's a little bit stiff, so you have to work with it a little bit. But look how flat that is, how nice that is. Oh, oh, perfection. Okay, so now, um, now that that is basically the pattern itself, so round 12 is over, but we're gonna weave in our ends and use our scissors and our darning needle, and we're gonna finish off this project. Now that we're done with the actual crochet portion, what we're gonna do now is in that first stitch with the stitch markers at and everything, we're gonna take this yarn and pull through. So let's do a single, basically a, we're gonna put the yarn through that stitch where our stitch marker is at, take the stitch marker out, and in that stitch right there, we're gonna take the yarn, pull through, and then pull through again and pull through that full yarn. I'm gonna take a little bit of yarn out so that we can be able to weave in that end there. And then I'm gonna take the scissors and then cut it off. And we're gonna pull that yarn through that hole. There we go. And then we're gonna take our darning needle. So I'm gonna pull a little bit so that it's aligned correctly. See how that V is? We wanna make sure that lines up everything with the rest of the project. So, with the darning needle, I'm gonna take the yarn and pinch it, like so, and put my crochet, or not my crochet, but my darning needle through and pinch it as much as I can to make that little gap right there to put it through the eye of that needle and then roll it through. Boom. Now we're loaded. Okay, so now that we have the yarn through, we're gonna take this and because the project was going that direction, we're going to pull a little bit to that V. It's still there. And we're gonna go through, not necessarily anywhere in particular, but in line with the rest of the project. There we go. And we're just gonna weave in, in and out, in and out of the project. Because the, the project is, this, is of the same color, it's easy to hide it. But I'm gonna work it all the way down through the spiral. Because basically that's what we did. We made a spiral project. Okay, let's put through there. Go through over and over, under, over, under, over. Usually where there's a few holes and everything, I try to go through. You just wanna weave in your ends so that nothing unravels by mistake. And then you hide, hide, basically hide your work from, um, make it look as clean as possible. Go through, take a little bit of hair. Okay, go through here, and then go through that center loop where we first started. Pull through, boom. And then we're gonna take out, we're gonna flip this inside out 
what I'd like to do is take the beginning strand that we did of our project and then tie it with the last bit of our project into a slight knot, too, not too tight. And sometimes I keep the little bit left over because it's going to be hidden inside when your Tamagotchi is in there. So I'm just going to cut the excess off. Snip. Boom. So that's the excess. So it almost looks like a little hat. But then we're going to flip it back inside correct wise. That's where our little tassel goes in. So we're going to get our Tamagotchi. It's going to just form it. There we go. Little dome. Put it through. And then finesse it. Finesse it a little bit. I'm loving this pumpkin orange with this purple because it's giving me Halloween vibes. And I'm all about that. So I'm just going to, there it is. Where is the, the opening tassel portion of it? There we go. And then form, 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 form. Boom. You have your very own crochet Tamagotchi case. Isn't it nice? Oh my god, I'm, I would love. I'm so. I'm. Ugh, uh, <laughs> I'm so excited that I was able to actually create this guy, this for you guys, because I know you've been asking for it and everything. I know there's other probably methods and processes that people can do to make their own crochet cases, and I'm always open for that because I, I'm always open to learning and understanding how things are made and stuff. But this is like a very simple crochet case for anyone to make. But no, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the editing is going to be crazy. <laughs> But I'm excited to have it out for you guys. So thank you guys so much. If you like this content, please comment, like, and subscribe for future content about my um, Tam Tamagotchis, virtual pets, V-pets, everything. Because um, these little devices give me life. So I hopefully you'll be able to secure and protect yours in the future with this awesome crochet case. Just saying. Toot my own horn. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.